we had a, an L20 LFV, yep. uh, followed by an L32 LFV. Okay, uh, and rhetorical question here, how, how have they been? Yeah, very good, very pleased. Uh, they're fast machines, uh, very happy. Okay, so someone who's had zero, pretty much zero sliding head experience, I mean, you, you've got an engineering background, but zero sliding head experience, That's it's right. been relatively smooth? Uh, it's, it, I'd say it's been a, a, a certainly a steep learning curve, okay. um, but I've enjoyed every minute. Brilliant, okay, and great support from Warren and the team at Citizen, I'm assuming. That's right, yeah, very okay. good. Okay, right now we're picking up a boring, obviously we're above the main spindle, we're picking up a deep hole boring bar using the side of the spindle to give better rigidity. So we're not actually picking it up with the spindle interface itself. So there's less couples, so more rigidity is the idea. Because it's been secured uh, in, in far more areas, is that correct? It's been, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. What about drift and you know maintaining tolerance with a boring bar that length? Is that down to the boring bar or the rigidity of the machine? It's a bit, it's a bit of the machine and a bit of the boring bar, to be honest. Obviously, we can, we can allow, if it's an incredibly long length, we can allow a little bit when it starts. Um, so the tolerance for wander, if you like. Matt, thanks for this. It's going to be brilliant, right. this is. Can you firstly tell our audience why you would choose a four-sided uh, microlock tombstone? Okay, Joe, well, this is a uh, 400 pallet twin pallet horizontal machine. Um, it's a 600 high cube, uh, 250 wide. And the idea of this is you can have, it's four-sided, so you can get lots of different components all over on different faces. Um, it's, it's, you can hold up to about 200 wide on this cube, um, but it's ideal for your smaller components, getting three-phase machining. And uh, of course, it's very versatile. You can clamp up and down or side to side. Because it's a cast iron frame um, with roller guideways on, it weighs in at 12 and a half tonne. That's a pretty heavy machine, but what's that going to do for the engineer? Well, I think it gives two opportunities, really. People machining heavier type materials, it gives them the strength and the rigidity. With the counterbalanced head on there, you can do decent cuts on heavier materials. But of course, if, if with the capacity this machine has, if you've got larger fabrications, then it gives you the opportunity to put those fabrications on and be able to machine those with confidence that the machine's rigid enough that it probably won't vibrate when you're doing your cutting. Its primary function is to take out the setting time from the machine tool altogether. In most common cases, components will be loaded onto a fixture plate, which is then loaded into the machine and then checked or clocked in. Depending on the complexity of the component and accuracy to which it has to rotate, this can take an unknown amount of time. With this new standalone setting table, the unknown amount of time reduces to zero. The way the setting table works is instead of loading a component and fixture into a machine, it is loaded onto the setting table. These particular tables have their own automatic positioning system or APS modules on them. They are very easy to use and are accurate within five microns. CNC have travelled to PCML in Cambridge and we're going to be looking at different configurations of tombstones or columns if you like to refer to them like that. We're here at Dugard and Chris here is going to tell us about the SMEC SL 3500Y machine. I'm at WH Lead in Toaster. This is the new home for the Leadwell machines. Today for this uh, short video we're looking at this V30 IT uh, five axis machine which is available here from stock. Craig, we're here in Telford at the home of Filtermist International. What is it you do here? Okay, uh, here at Filtermist, we've been helping customers protect themselves and their environments for the last 50 years. 